my gosh, his headset is huge. First of all, just want to quickly uh, do a massive shout out to all my supporters. Thank you so much for unhitting 35k. I really appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't care. Well, I mean, do I care? Kind of, maybe a bit. But um, in all seriousness, <laughs> at one point I had 36k and now we're celebrating the milestone of unhitting 35k. We're now on like 34,000 something. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm not actually that mad. It's only my fault because I stopped uploading, so I'm not that mad. I wanted to put that at the start of the video to acknowledge my failures so that you guys don't have to point them out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, carrying on with the video. What is going on, guys? My name is Squig, and welcome back to another video. Now, I know I haven't uploaded in ages, and I ain't got an excuse for that. But today, I thought I would do something that I was meant to do, honestly, probably, like, two years ago. So, recently, um, a lot of my videos have been, like, hitting milestones, despite the fact that I don't really upload anymore. So, first of all, my personal infinite edit is literally about to hit 50,000 views, which is insane. My other texture pack reviews are also doing great. And shout out to a guy called Dom who made that pastel pack. Back in the day, like, three years ago, he made that pack and like I said, it's about to hit 50k views and Dom's now doing so sick on YouTube. Like it's actually madness. I'll leave his channel down below because I'm still grateful for making this pack, but yeah, he's doing sick on YouTube and I just think it's awesome. But mainly I wanted to celebrate the fact that that texture pack literally has over 50,000 downloads. So forget views because everyone can view videos, but literally 50,000 people have decided to download something that I like helped create, which is absolute madness. Actually insane. Like if you think about it, someone's actually bothered to click a link and download something that you like helped to make. Madness. Anyway, over the years of me doing UHC, which is like one of the most successful series that I've been involved with, I have had so many comments asking to release the texture pack that I use. I'm kind of known as one of the more PvP players in the game, and I think people take interest in the texture packs that I use because of that. But throughout the UHC series, there's an overlay which was cre is created by the UHC uh, team, whatever. Don't really know who creates it, but to be honest. But as I have not created that, nor do I have permission to release that, I will not be releasing that. The overlay simply just adds effects, seasonal effects which is like a couple things it's not too big of a deal but the main texture pack themselves are mixtures of different packs that i've used so today i'm going to be releasing the halloween texture pack that i used in my season with stacy as that's probably how most of the people that have come to my channel from UHC were watching that season i don't take credit for any of the actual creations of these packs i literally just merge different packs together i'll leave a link to it in the description although i don't make money off the link so if anyone out there's watching that made one of the original packs i ain't making anything off it i'll try to leave the credits due where they're below and if i get in trouble for releasing this pack then it's worth it for the people most of you guys will have seen the texture pack through uhc so you won't need a review but i'm also going to do a little one uh, just to music um, after this clip so you can kind of get to see the texture pack although most of you will know it if this video does bomb like if it actually does good i'm tempted to come back to youtube solely making texture pack reviews as that's something that i actually kind of low-key enjoy so enjoy the pack i don't really care if you like this video or not um but yeah so basically, most of you that would want this pack probably saw it in my UHC episode, so you don't really need a review. But for those of you that don't know or can't remember, I thought I'd really, really quickly run through it. So basically, the main point of this pack was to combine uh, like PvP aspects, for example, the swords, um, which you'd probably use in UHC combat. So like the diamond and the, uh, the iron sword, and then the three that you probably wouldn't use are like more of the creative style, along with the custom, not custom, but like... The weapons, these are more like PvP, whereas the arrow, as you can see, is like less. It's more shaded and creative. Um, I think this food's just probably default, to be fair. I don't actually know, but it looks default to me. And then if you come over to the mobs, I believe this is all the creative style or even just default. It might just be default, to be fair. I'm not too sure, but kind of very simple the lava creative i mean you might use lava in like pvp so i thought i'd just show that so yeah lava is like this sort of more creative style along with the water and if you look at the crits then you can see that they are the from the creative pack so if i jump down you can see you get like the double colored uh hit when you get a critical hit and then when you get the normal hits it's just plain blue and that's from not from the huahui pvp style i think it's from the other one to be honest i can't remember the name of the other one but it'll be in the description if you want to check it out uh briefly looking at the mobs i uh, put glass in front of those don't know why but the skeleton i think they're all just default in all fairness they look default i could be wrong but i think they are and then you get kind of like a look of the world it's like quite pretty which i kind of thought went with uhc but it also has the pvp aspect going into survival mode obviously what you'll be playing like uhc uhc in uh it was made for a halloween edition so it's got like the halloween uh colors not colors but like a 
extra so there's the boo thing uh, this was made for 1.8 so it doesn't have the 1.11 like i guess block like uh, craft what's it called inventory don't have the inventory slots for 1.11 but to be honest that does not even bother me i am on 1.8 now so you can't tell but it would be a little bit out of place but to be fair you can't you probably edit that or just leave it because it's not that big of a deal and then obviously because it is halloween you have the pumpkins and the ghosts uh some of the blocks may be out of date if you're playing this on 1.11 as this was made for 1.8 so if there's like new blocks that will look default i believe that's what happens i'm not too sure but yeah and then looking at nighttime the moon looks sick to be fair like it's well rendered uh well, well shaded and if you go today sun's like swirly more creative style rather than pvp to be honest this stuff doesn't really matter when you're pvp in anyway the rain uh not too dark which is good if you're pvp and like very bright uh, i think the rain looks sick as well and if we go back yeah that's pretty much it so i did actually record this clip earlier uh, but I realised I was using the wrong screen recorder, so it corrupted. But never mind. Forget that. So if I sound a bit like dead, it's because I kind of filmed this three times with the wrong screen recorder. But I got it right this time, hopefully. <laughs> Cross my fingers. And uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. Yeah, had a more comedic value to it. But you know what? That's fine. You guys get the message. So once again, thank you so much for 50,000 uh, downloads on my personal texture pack. Hopefully this is useful to those of you that want it. But uh, yeah, I believe I've mentioned everything hopefully and if there's something i've missed out then uh, I'll, I'll add it in <laughs> thank you so much for watching leave a like or don't leave a like to be honest i'm not really bothered uh and if you guys genuinely do show my support on this i'd be tempted to come back to youtube uploading purely just text pack reviews uh because they're kind of more interesting for me because they like take quite more skill in editing which is where i find interest uh than just like the normal videos so if you actually do show mad support on this then i actually may consider coming back thank you guys so much for watching and if you're still sticking around you're sick and yeah bye